It's uh, my great pleasure and honor to introduce the recipient of the fourth annual Trask Award. The award honors the memory and distinguished career of the late SHFG president and federal history pioneer, Roger Trask. It's presented to persons whose careers and achievements reflect a commitment to and an understanding of the unique importance of federal history work and the society's mission. Raymond Smock probably doesn't need much of an introduction to this crowd, but I'll do my best to make him blush a little bit anyway. His accomplishments are many. He was the first historian of the U.S. House of Representatives, where he created a history office from scratch and served there for 12 years. He's the author of key congressional history works, such as Masters of the House, Landmark Documents on the U.S. Congress, and the revised second edition of Congress Investigates, a Critical History with Documents, which was just published last year. He's the founding director of the Robert C. Byrd Center for Legislative Studies. Ray started off at the University of Maryland as a co-editor of the papers of Booker T. Washington, which was an acclaimed project and which inspired him to write a well-received biography of Booker T. Washington in 2009. He's the past president of the SHFG, the Association for Documentary Editing, and the Association of the Centers for the Study of Congress. And as his good friend Don Ritchie pointed out in a letter supporting Ray's nomination, Ray took the role of chief historical consultant to the National Constitution Center to New Heights. He modeled uh, to his body in plaster to provide the figure for the bronze statue of Benjamin Franklin for the center's Hall of Signers. That's teamwork. They don't teach you that in graduate school either. I've heard Ray self-describe his career as being unconventional, by which I think he means that it's been nonlinear, and that may be true. But I know of only a rare few other public historians who have demonstrated the kind of diversity of interest, the range of skills, and the level of passion for our field, as has Ray Smock. And on the particular issue of championing, championing high standards in public history and in history on Capitol Hill, Ray is without peer. He has been unwavering and remarkably consistent in his advocacy. The title of Ray's 2012 Trask Lecture is The Value of Federal History, so please join me in giving him a very warm welcome. <laughs> 